Hi everyone, my name's Cathy. Welcome to Skint Living UK. Today I am talking about making a kawandi. Kawandi is a word for quilt. Um, it's usually three or four layers of fabric. Um, we have a backing fabric. I've used fleece because this is going to be for my son and his girlfriend's cats. They've got one each. My cat has taken to lying down with it. As you can see, a big fat belly there. As I'm trying to show you. So I've bought these bits of fabric on eBay from a small seller. These are five inch squares. And I've done a runner stitch all the way around. And I've also done a blanket stitch. Because I just wanted to. And I wanted it to be look tidy. Um, she wanted pink. He wanted blue. So I've compromised and used pink and blue fabric. So this is new. So what you do... Imagine this rectangle is your piece of fabric and you do a running stitch all the way around. So it's a circuit. I know a lot of people have been saying it's a spiral, it's a knot, it's a circuit. So your next row is inside like that. So each time you go round, it's going to get smaller and smaller, your running stitch circuit. And you put your pieces of fabric in as you go along. So I've done one row of running stitch. Blanket stitch for the edges. Most people don't do a blanket stitch. I've just done that because I've got a fleece. I've put the fooler on the corner, which is for flower. These were originally made by city women. They were enslaved by the Portuguese. And ended up going from India to Africa. So these city women make beautiful ornate designs, but everybody has been having a little go at it over the last few years since COVID. And my son wanted a throw for the sofa for the cats because they were scratching the seats. So I thought, oh, I'll give it a little go. So to save money, because I've bought new fabric and a new fleece, I've got a piece of fabric here that's going to be the lining. And this came from an old quilt cover. So this is the back of the old quilt cover. So it was like a design on the front and plain on the back. It's smaller than the quilt, so all the grotty ends or ripped ends or tatty ends or stained ends aren't here anymore. So it's just like a nice fresh piece of cotton. I've given it a wash. So I'm going to stick that inside. So if you move all the little flaps, that's still a bit flappy and the fabric will go inside. I'll pin it pin it down for the first few rows and then I'm going to continue to run and stitch along. So when I've done a few rows, a few circuits, I'll do another video. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and thanks from Pell My Pussycat too.